hello everyone so today we are going to work on this so here i'm gonna add a button to the ui so when i this is a house button build house button when i click on it i get this house and if it is a invalid location it becomes red if it is a valid location it has its colors and when i click it would be placed like this so similarly I can place anyhow any number of five houses I want right now it's not consuming any of the resources because we are just testing out the flow uh, as of now later on we will be connecting this to the amount of resources will be available and also this option will come here when I select someone who can build a house so actually dynamically we will pull a list of buildings the character can build but right now we are just setting up the UI and the flow so this is what we are going to do in this episode all right so before we get started let me remind you that all the project files are available here in my patreon page once you become a member you can access not just this project but project files for all thousands of videos I have done in my channel and also here is the full playlist here this is here I'm using C++ as the main language uh, to implement the logic uh, everything is explained here and also there is another series that I have used mainly blueprint so feel free to check it out as well so I'll leave links to everything in description below right now let's get back to today's episode okay so let me first open my hud wpp hud and this section will have all the building options and whatever the options that we need to show uh, when we select a character but for now uh, we are not dynamically pull the type of buildings that we can uh, build when we for one selected actor i just need to have the button finalized in the ui so i can test the flow when i click the button here i will be able to place a building so first thing is here we need a button for that just like this uh, selected actor icon uh, but i think it would be better if we use a button right uh, let's create a new widget blueprint Yes, a widget WBP mm, action. The reason that I name it action button is building a placing a building some building like a house or doing some other action, anything could be associated with this button. So that's why I want to call it action button instead of just building button right now what we need is a button okay and as the default icon i have created this house icon and i'm going to use it style normal hard pressed disabled for everything I'm gonna use the same button. We will be dynamically assigning this later on, but for now, this will be the default icon. And this does not have a background, but I need to have the same background. This one. So let's wrap this with a border. This doesn't need any padding. For the border, I'll assign. Okay, now I'm gonna wrap this with a size box because we use the size 30 by 30 for the icons, act icons. So I'm gonna use the same thing. You can change this if this is an idea. This is stretched, but it wouldn't be stretched when this is in a and this is in a canvas panel, but here if 
I post this, this becomes comes under the right aspect ratio. Okay, now here is the button. Uh, let's go here. So this is a selected actors panel. Just this is a wrap box. Let me add another wrap box. Oh, we can just duplicate this. I'll call it action panel. the anchors okay should be enough for now It should be actually five because I have used the same thing here. Yeah, five, 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 five. So. All right. Now let me add the button just for testing. Under this, so it appears like this. If I duplicate this, this is the way buttons going to appear. This and I'm going to keep only one button. Why is this? Uh, this should be rendered as an image. Should be bolded. It's already rendered as an image. Why do we have this uh, some weird background? It's a very nice thing to see what happens. Uh, yeah, now it looks good. And also, I have added an outline for the board uh, as well. Okay, now let's go to this action button. Mm. Forty-three. Time for it button. Yeah. Here, let's add a on-click event. So, as I said, I just wanna click on this button and place a build. And here we already implemented this test building uh, placement actor. Here, what we did is when I press B, I create an actor using this BPCLM base building class and enabled placing mode. So, I'm gonna do the same thing when I click on this button, but later on, we will override this so we will dynamically uh, assign what building to spawn when we click on this uh, button but for now i'm just gonna hard code this so spawn ignore collisions now i think that's all we need for testing let's see yeah, so here, even if I haven't selected any actor, we have the build in, build in option. So click it. Now we got the building. It's a valid location. We have the color. If it is invalid location, it becomes red. And I can click it and place it. Just like that, we can place any building so yeah
think that should be enough for this episode so thanks for watching as always the updated project files will be available here for download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and let me know if you have any questions in the comments see you in the next episode goodbye